my name is Bettina. I'm a pastry chef and I'm going to show you how to make delicious peanut butter pancakes. We're going to start off with all our dry ingredients. In this bowl, I've already combined one cup of all-purpose flour, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, check your expiration date to make sure that it's still current, uh, and a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to combine those in my sifter over a larger bowl and get out all the lumps and aerate the flour so it's going to be making a fluffier pancake. Okay. Next I have my wet ingredients. These I like to have at room temperature so take them out set them on the counter about an hour before you're going to do this. I have here a half a cup of creamy peanut butter, two tablespoons of sugar, and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm going to put these into a bowl and start mixing them up. Again, if it's room temperature, this will be even faster. to combine. Okay, after that's been mixed up, add your one egg. Beat that together. After that's fully incorporated, Oh, nice and peanutty smelling. I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of milk. I'm going to start off slowly at first so I don't splash everywhere. And after that first combination of milk gets incorporated, I'm going to switch over to a whisk. So just keep adding the milk and whisking to combine. Now we're going to combine the two wet and dry ingredients by making a well in our dry ingredients. This basically means we're just pushing the dry ingredients to the sides of the bowl. We'll add all our wet ingredients. And then we're going to whisk them together until they're combined. You'll see that your batter has a few lumps, but that's okay. If it doesn't have lumps, it means you've overmixed. At this point, we're going to cover our bowl with some plastic wrap or a kitchen towel and leave it on the counter for 30 minutes. This is to relax the gluten in the flour and soften the dough so your pancake will be nice and fluffy. After your batter has relaxed on the counter for 30 minutes, we're ready to fry. Heat up your saute pan and you know you can grease it with just a little bit of butter or oil. Not too much, otherwise the pancake is going to absorb too much of it and it will be greasy and heavier. I take about a quarter cup, pour it into my pan, and now I'm going to watch for bubbles to appear on my cake. And when those bubbles start to burst and the sides dry out a bit, that means it's time to flip my pancake. After I've flipped it, I'm going to cook it an additional minute and then I'm going to peak. And it probably needs an extra 30 seconds or so. And when it's ready, I'm going to take it out and it's ready to eat. You can keep this warm in a 200 degree oven or you can eat it right away. Since it's peanut butter, it's got a nice mild flavor and good for kids and perfect with applesauce or a berry compote or
is delicious with regular old maple syrup. I'm Bettina. Thank you for watching.